Hello, GM. Welcome to this deep dive episode. Today we're looking at Solana Pay. My name's Colin. I work in the developer relations team at Solana Foundation. And today I'm joined by my colleague, Callum. Hey, I'm Callum. I'm the uh, payments DevVal for payment. DevVal for payments at Solana Labs. Awesome. Yeah, so today we're going to be doing a deep dive on Solana Pay. So what's the TLDR? What exactly is Solana Pay and why should people be excited about it? Yeah, so Solana Pay is basically like a payments and commerce protocol for Solana. Mm -hmm. So uh, the way I kind of think about it sometimes is often when we connect to it, often when we want a um, to interact with a dap we mm -hmm. uh, connect our wallet first so that we so that it can you know ask us to uh, sign transactions and mm -hmm. solana pay is kind of a, a a different way to do that where you can ask someone to sign a transaction without necessarily knowing who who they are first so you can kind of present a transaction for them to uh -huh. To, to to view in their in their generally in their in their mobile wallet and then they can approve it from there that, that is quite interesting and kind of when i just think about um how blockchain the technology came about it was like initially built for the payments use case yeah so it, basically because you don't need to connect that wallet first it, it opens up these sort of use cases where you know you're not having to go into a shop and then like connect your wallet to, <laughs> that, that, yeah. that's like a very very odd, odd sort of flow um so but but then the the benefits are generally you, you know the benefits that you get of a Solana transaction right so right. it's it's super fast you know it's as fast as as any other payment rails that you that you can mm -hmm. get uh, the transaction fees are m much lower than than any um, sort of alternatives you know Solana transaction fees are very mm -hmm. low um, yeah. you, you're not dealing with any intermediaries so it's not like your payments are like going through any other parties there's there's uh -huh. nothing to deal with there. Um, and you also get the sort of instant settlement as well with with Solana transactions. So the the money that you're you know being paid in in this payment is is a, available sort of immediately in an account that you that you control. Yeah, that's actually quite interesting. So it almost like kind of provides a um, <clears throat> direct connection between the merchant and the consumer. And I think also exactly. what's kind of yeah. And I think what also is quite interesting is. I kind of like see online where people are like, oh, what's the use case for Solana Pay when we have stuff like Apple Pay, Google Pay. But I think like some of those people don't realize that even Google Pay, or Apple Pay is not actually usable in every region. There's some people who don't even have access to like bank accounts in the first right, place. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it definitely has like a ton of use cases and kind of like love the stuff you mentioned about like zero transaction fees, instant settlement no chargebacks, yeah, that kind of stuff is, is incredibly useful. Um, yes, I've also like took a look at the Solana Pay specification. And one thing that definitely stood out to me was the transaction request. So what can yeah. you tell us more about that? Yeah, so transaction requests are kind of a way to generalize this so that rather than just working for a transfer, so you, you know, you go into a shop, you pay them, mm -hmm. um, maybe not in Seoul, but you pay them like 100 USDC, let's say. Um, mm -hmm. Transaction requests let you encode any Solana transaction so that you have much more flexibility there. Anything that you can put into a Solana transaction, you can use with Solana Pay. Oh, that's quite cool. It, would it be possible to kind of like see some code and kind of like walk through how this works? Yeah, so uh, this is my sort of index page on the sort of homepage here. Mm -hmm. um, and we're using a, um, a, a user factor here. Ba basically, what we're doing is we're encoding a, a, a URL to an API. So this is right. a transaction request API. Uh, it's just the API slash checkout. And all, all I need to do is encode a, 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 that, that um, URL into the QR code here. Um, so yeah, I'll, sh I'll just show you uh, like a quick, quick walkthrough of the, the code that's at this uh, API slash checkout route. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be use, we're going to do a um, NFT creation here. So the Ooh. customers come into the store, they're making a payment in USDC, and we're going to send them an NFT. So you could imagine this being like a, a loyalty coupon, something like that, or okay. even yeah. you know they've come into our shoe shop, they've bought a pair of trainers, and we're going to send them like an NFT of that pair of shoes, so that they can you know use it in like some some game or something. So. 
we're going to be using some like Metaplex stuff here, but I'll just sort of quickly run through that. Um, so you basically have kind of two two requests that are made. The first one is just a, a get request, which the wallet makes. And that, that's just going to give, we're just going to return some like the label and icon just so the wallet can sort of sh show a bit of uh, sort of interact, in, indication of, of what they're interacting with there. Mm -hmm. But the bulk of it is in this uh, post impole here. So basically we're receiving as input here from the wallet, the account, the public key of the user who's scanned it. And that, that means that we can actually customize this transaction okay. specifically for that user. So in this case, you know, we're going to have instructions where we're saying to uh, Metaplex, we want to send this NFT to that, that user. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll kind of just uh, quickly skip skip through the detail a bit here, but we're doing a uh, NFT create here. We're passing in the sort of our key pair, um, the account that we're going to be uh, minting it to. We're adding in our instruction where the user is sending, where the buyer here is sending us the USDC. Um, we just sort of pull, pull all that together here. We then sign this transaction as the um, as the shop, so as as us, mm -hmm. because we're we're going to be um, sending the the NFT. We need to get approval for that. Um, and and this and then we serialize the transaction and return it to the user. And basically, the only kind of, the sort of super important thing here is that this transaction is waiting for the user's signature. And that's right. that's what's going to happen when it's returned to them, and they're going to interact with it in in their wallet. They'll they'll sign it there. Oh, so that's actually quite interesting because I think, like, I guess in this use case, we're kind of seeing um, like some more uh, things outside of like just a simple transfer. So basically, so basically, it's like anything that can be sorry, any transaction that can be serialized is yeah. a valid transaction for, for the transaction request. Yeah, basically the the only limitation here is that it it, it needs to be signed by the user because it's going to be like sent, signed right. by them in their wallet. So any anything that you can serialize, you return from that API, and it will work. That's actually super interesting. So basically, um, even though it's called Solana Pay, there's like so many potential use cases just outside of payments itself. And I think sure. um, yeah, because you also have access to the user's wallet address yeah. there's like mm -hmm. a lot of like cool things that you can do in terms of um you yeah, like seeing how many times that particular address has transacted on the network um what are the stores or what are the things that they've bought to kind of apply a more custom or personalized uh shopping experience for them which is actually yeah. quite cool mm -hmm. yeah because i can also kind of think about you can do some kind of cross promotion between stores mm -hmm. so like if you had shopped at that store then you also get discount at these other stores which kind that, of like yeah. um yeah yeah it's, it's just so interesting because then it's like merchants don't have to almost like um build a lot of this infrastructure themselves the infrastructure exactly. already yeah. exists they just kind of need to like personalize that experience yeah like there's some very complex things that like you know large supermarkets and things are, are already yeah. doing in mm -hmm. this very custom complex way and I, I think this sort of lets lets sort of anyone sort of access that that same sort of ability to you know do things like uh, say if you've got an nft then you get a discount mm -hmm. just you know any anything like that is it's it's all available because you have you have access to that that on chain yeah. activity that's so cool so then yeah are there any other cool features you want to see built on top of Solana Pay? Yeah, so I think sort of like we were talking, like outside of payments, I think there's some like mm. I'd, I'd be really interested to see you know what what else people can think of when you have this ability to you, right. you know anywhere in the real world present this like request for a transaction and what mm. what else where where else does that make sense? Things like um, events and ticketing, things, yep. things like that. I think there's there's a lot of really cool use cases kind of waiting to, to be explored there. Um, on the payment side, with merchants in particular, I think a lot has sort of built up around this assumption that money actually takes a really long time to get to the merchant <laughs> yep. after they're paid. Um, it's going through, you know, all sorts of complex systems and things. And with, with Solana Pay, that, that's not the case. The money is there immediately. And I'd be interested to see sort of more thinking about what what does that actually mean? Like, 
what what happens if if that money is 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 there immediately? Can you do things more interesting things with like payment splitting and um, maybe, right. maybe different ways of like logging things and having more up to date information? And yeah, I'd be really interested to see more around that. Um, on the consumer side, I mean, we kind of touched on this a bit, but I think like around loyalty is I, I think really mm-hmm. really interesting. I think there's there's a a ton of opportunity to do interesting stuff there, and I'd love to, yeah, see see more exploration there. Yeah, and I think that's actually what, um, well, one of the many things that actually interested interests me in the Web three space as a whole, where actually because of the technology that exists, you can kind of create new experiences that are otherwise yeah. impossible or very difficult to do with the traditional systems. Um, and I guess yeah, we definitely probably have to like touch on Saga a little bit. Is there like any cool integrations between Solana Pay and Saga to look out for? Um, so I, th- I think the, the 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 big thing here is that every wallet that's in the DApp store is going to have full support for Solana Pay. Ah, okay. So you can you, you can rely on um, you, you know this integration with the Seed Vault and mm-hmm. and with with Solana Pay. So like any any payment sort of um, you're, you're making with Solana Pay, you you have that like integration with with the Seed Vault sort of. Uh, uh, all, all the time um mm-hmm. you, you know this th- there's I, th- I think there's a lot of standardization here where you know um like th- there's already good good support for solana pay on yeah. on sort of a lot a lot of mobile wallets but having that that seed vault as well i think makes it makes it really interesting um and of course you can use solana pay to buy your saga which is pretty <laughs> cool <laughs> yeah I, I definitely would, would be doing that um, and I guess just finally, before we round off, uh, I kind of saw something around um, some new features being added, um, mainly the message sign in spec. Is there any like insights you can shed up on that? Yeah, so this is a sort of, um, up, we, we've got an alpha of this this spec mm-hmm. um, on the GitHub at the moment, but it's, yeah, we're still, still sort of we're working through it a little bit. But mm-hmm. we're looking to e- expand Solana Pay to also support message signing. So in the same way that if you have a connected wallet in a DAP, you can you can be asked to just sign a message, okay. which lets them verify who, who you are cryptographically without without sending a transaction. Mm-hmm. Um, we, we we want to bring that that same um, ability to Solana Pay as well, so that you'd be able to, for example, scan a QR code and verify to some some. Uh, service or some system uh, sort of who, who, who you are so one example which i think is quite interesting around this would be like um bi-directional communication with a point of sale so we, okay. we've talked about how the um wh- when you're doing a transaction request you know who the user is and you can like automatically give them a discount based on an nft or mm-hmm. something but you could also do things like optionally be able to like sign a message where you're almost logging into the point of sale okay. and then maybe you get presented with all the different coupons and things that you've wow. got so you, yeah. and then you could you know select the coupon and then that that's fed into the transaction that's eventually generated so that would give us a lot that would give you sort of even even more flexibility i think yeah that 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 sounds incredible yeah we definitely would keep an eye on what's happening when happening there and kind of like seeing how that uh spec that particular spec progresses. But thank you very much, Callum, for joining us on this deep dive episode. And we'll definitely keep tabs and seeing what's coming up next with Solana Pay. Thank you for your time. Awesome, great to join you. Cheers.